Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. So today is our second day in KL and Zahun just got his car so now we are driving to a restaurant that serves traditional Malaysian breakfast. Um, after that we're just gonna go around KL to explore some cool places um, and it just feels so great to be traveling again you know um, and very excited to take you guys along this journey. Ooh, here it is. Alright, so we just got to the restaurant, but the queue is so long. It's probably gonna take us like an hour to get into the restaurant. Alright, our breakfast is served. So we have two changfen, which is the pork rice noodle roll. The three-in-one croissant, so we have egg, cheese, and ham, as well as the classic kaya toast. And we have two more. Two more. Our drink is called TK1 plus one. Yeah. So it's a oh, so it's tea and coffee? Hainan espresso. Oh, interesting. And also MKI, Milo and Kopi. Um, so we just finished breakfast and now we're headed to somewhere. Vitaling Street. Vitaling Street. Um, we're just gonna go check it out. So now I'm inside the Rex building, which was originally a theater, but I think they renovated it into a unique space for a lot of cultural events, workshops, and exhibitions. So in love with the book cover. Yeah. This is my dream, you know, to get bus train. I'm very tempted to get it. Wow, this is hands down the fanciest bookstore I've ever been to. You can overlook the entire space from here. It literally feels like walking in a maze here. Because there are so many twists and turns, I'm getting lost already. And this bookstore has multiple floors, I believe. Um, so it's kind of difficult for you to navigate through it. So we came to Thawan Bakery to have some Cantonese pastry and in my opinion, they look very authentic. So this is kind of like a Cantonese afternoon tea um, and we got a classic ice milo. For pastry, we got one kaya roll. So it's kind of like Swiss roll but with kaya in it. And this one is the crispy pork piggy buns with chashu inside, one egg tart and this one is with salted egg. Is it crunchy or more soft? The skin is crunchy, uh -huh. but the egg is very soft. Ah. Ooh, 
I'm finally feeling rejuvenated because I was a little bit dehydrated just now because of the weather. Um, we went to a cafe, had some drinks, and then I took a nap, so it's much better. Um, and now we are headed to the next spot, which is called Gui Zai Xiang. It's also kind of like an artsy street. And I think this is the old location of the Feng Huang Bakery we just went to. Wow, fried dough. I can smell it already. So good. Do you know what it means by that ball? Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. Just going to climb up the stairs so we can see what's up there. This is so random. Why is there a chair? Like, is that a oh, that's supposed to be a barber. Alright, I'm getting a haircut today. We just got back to our car because it was literally too hot outside, like we were both burning. Um, I don't understand why I initially I expected KL to be less hot than Singapore, uh, apparently it's not. Um, but now we're just headed to KLCC because I want to see the Twin Towers, you know, just do some touristy things. Um, yeah. Is the traffic in KL always this bad? What do you think? Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a Twin Towers? Oh wow, the weather kind of sucks, but um, I am in front of the Twin Towers. Finally, Twin Towers. Check, I feel like real tourist now. Okay, an important question to a uh, Malaysian. Like How many times have we been here <laughs> to the Twin Towers? Uh, to be honest, it's the first time. What? Yeah. First time? Yeah. We've never been here before? I just like passed by. We just left the Twin Towers and when we were taking the photos, there was one thing that annoyed the hell out of me. Um, so there was one group of men that always stood in our way and blocked our views. And they would ask whether we want them to take a photo of us so they can charge us, which is really disgusting. Um, so we just left. Um, now we are going to the next spot, which is a like kind of like a landmark in KL, right? It's a new landmark. Oh really? It's new? It's new, yeah. It is always at these moments that I really regret not getting a wide lens. Otherwise, I can capture the entirety of this masterpiece. Ah, so sad. And if you look carefully, you can probably notice that the light is changing colors. So here's the story. We've been waiting for like, like literally an hour, but then our food is still not served. I'm starving, Jesus. Also, I don't know what's special about this restaurant. Um, it's right by the street with a lot of cars passing by, but apparently a lot of people come here regularly for their food, so hopefully it's good. All right, after an hour, our first dish is here. So this one is the pork slice soup. Please tell me it's good. Oh, okay, it's good. All right, our main dish is finally here. Um, is it a charcoal Hokkien meat? Is it one with charcoal, like black soy sauce? No, they use charcoal to fry. Oh, okay. Okay, try, try, try. Approved. 
So this is Yuan Yang. So what is Yuan Yang? It's Hong Fan. Ah, oh, Hong Fan. Mixed with fried, I think it's fried meat. Shrimp. Fried meat. So it's Yuan Yang. Oh, yeah. oh there's two different types mixed together, right? <sighs> All right, just go back to the hotel, and I'm so tired. Um, tomorrow we are going to the next city called Malacca. Um, I think we're gonna wake up early just to explore the hotel a little bit more. Because uh, for the past two days, we didn't really have time to, you know, check out different facilities of this hotel. Even though it's like one of the most beautiful hotels in KL, I think. Um, so I'm gonna sleep, and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Dude, you don't have to turn off the light like that. <laughs>